Classic comeback by Alex here. <laughs> Only on Dracus Shadow can you get this quality dialogue. Hate this damn boss. I'm, I'm it's going so to literally get, we're it's gonna long, get commentary. It's repetitive, like, and it's just pointless. We're gonna get commentary. He's like, you guys should do let's plays anymore. You guys really just trigger each other's uh, hot buttons. I'm like, no, that's that's why it works, people. Well, I'm sure there are plenty of let um, let's are, players who do this, and you don't see them saying that same thing. What do you mean? Well, I'm pretty sure there's people that argue with each other, but you don't see yeah. them thinking that no, they... No, even the most main mainstream Let's Players have arguments, and it's fine, because the arguments are entertaining. That's the point, yeah. I, yeah, I think you have to restart the entire boss fight every time. Yeah. It's stupid. This boss takes too long, it's too repetitive, it's the same stupid particular motions. It's too repetitive, and yet, we have Alex literally running into air. I'm running into ice, not air. You're running into something. It's Is a... there a problem with that part of the equation? Because the controls kind of suck. Well, then the, you shouldn't have a problem giving me the controller, because at that point I could say that the controls suck, and yes, you're completely justified in saying that. Well, you'll do it well, even so. Just because you're you, and you uh, do that. Because <laughs> oh you've done it every freaking time in the last three LPs. I just like say for the record, because Alex just said it, that Drac is the superior gamer. Fine, be the superior <laughs> gamer. I you... wasn't even trying to go into that contest, and yet you gave it to me. <laughs> Thanks, Alex! I mean, to your credit, you've found way more games probably than I ever had growing up. And yet, I'm the guy who gets made fun of for Angel Island. Well, that's just stupid because that's level one, and you're game over. And you game over on level one. That there's no excuse for that. But that's the point. I'm getting shown up by the guy who got a game over on Angel Island. So that should say more about you than it does about me. Oh my gosh, you guys are pathetic. <laughs> this is what happens when we see Deadpool people. Yeah. So obviously, you're excited. The, the one question I'm also going to ask Andrea is obviously, you are you are a diehard Harry Potter fan. You are you are the most diehard Harry Potter fan that I am at least aware of, because not even Alex equates to Andrea's fandom when it comes to Harry Potter. That's true. Um, and so you actually did midnight releases for I at least books five through seven, I believe. Yeah. Because I think you got mad at me because I didn't go to the midnight with you for book five. Fuck. We oh yeah, for, we I don't know. Six and seven. Well, I don't re remember the reason why you didn't go for book five. Um, midnight. Something was going on. I can't remember. Oh. Yeah, it was. It was me a while ago. It was me and Alex that went to book so, five. Mm -hmm. At that Fuck. point, um, I guess the question here is, are you going to show your fandom yet again and uh, and go out and get the, uh, or go out for the midnight release of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child? If some place offers that, then yeah. That's going to be really the question is if an area is going to offer it. I mean, obviously, like, people are probably going to send it uh, going, Walmart will do it. Walmart's open 24 hours. Shut up. They're not doing it. They're just open. Well, Walmart or Barnes and Noble or. Well, Barnes and Noble isn't open till midnight, you know. So at that point, if there was going to be a midnight release, it'd probably be like Barnes and Noble. It'd be. I want to say Walden Books, but no, they don't exist anymore. At least not here. You wonder if Border still exists. Nope, Borders nope. is gone. Borders yeah, is gone. That's why I was wondering. Because um, one area, one place that I knew of a Borders is now Barnes and Noble. I'm well, not... the only one that we knew was now Marshall's. <laughs> well, it's, yeah, it's the very store that I ended up working for. It occupied that building of what used to be a Borders. And don't you just feel dirty about that, Alex? <laughs> not particularly. You worked for the company that destroyed Borders. We didn't destroy Borders. No, Barnes & Noble and the internet destroyed Borders. Don't jump too soon. And yet you work for the company that destroyed Borders because you are on the internet right now. Actually, I'm on the game on a game right now, not on the internet right now. Not this very instance. Yeah, 
And I don't work for any internet companies. Yes, you do. You work for YouTube. No. I wish. That, that's not how it <laughs> works, people. I wish I could be rolling in the YouTube dough. Oh, so does everybody. Yes, we Everybody all... wishes they could be Markiplier or, or Pewdie... Jacksepticeye or, or PewDiePie. PewDiePie. By the way, did you see the advertisement for his TV series? No, I don't Holy give a shit. Holy shit. Yeah, he's getting a series on YouTube Red called Scare PewDiePie. YouTube Red, that's gonna go nowhere. Because nobody is gonna... Oh, it'll go somewhere. Can I mean, you hit him? Yeah, I had to get the target. I, I like the fact that there's original content, but... I'm sorry, Scare PewDiePie, which looks like a reality show for PewDiePie, is not original content! I'm so sick and tired of reality TV, people! I'm sorry, non-reality TV, because a lot of it's scripted! Not a lot, all of it. <laughs> Let's, let's hash this out, Alex. 90% of it is script. More like all of it. Well, some people will actually make the argument that news is reality TV. Well, news and is news. And at that news. point, you're accurate. Well, news is news. I don't think that falls under reality TV, the genre. And yet, a comedian is now a newscaster. That's a lot, a lot yeah, of... Yeah, people, that happened. Yeah, a lot of... I'm not happy about that in the slightest. A comedian is now considered a newscaster. People. Yeah, for this kind of a boss, they really should have like checkpoints, you know? Yeah. Yeah, they should, but they won't. Fuck, even Eggman. Freaking Sega, because they can't realize that, you know, there things we go. have changed. Well, she's even f this boss was in a even this boss in Unleashed had fucking checkpoints, and that boss followed one ridiculously long level. That's the only reason I wish we could play Sonic Unleashed on the channels. I want to experience Eggman land. No. Boom, boom, dragon. I remember that. Fucking Eggman land. That level is stupidly long. Sonic! Ooh. I can't believe this. I was supposed to she beat you up this time. I'm sorry, I didn't get that memo. I beat you every time. No, seriously, we beat this guy every time. It's like it's our job or something. Uh. What's Eggman even doing here? I thought you said he'd been kidnapped by that big weird thing that sent us all to this place. It's the Heartless. Speaking of the Heartless. Not as strange as your game career, Sonic. And that's the Egg Dragon! And that only leaves the final boss. Yep. Which fucking sucks. Because it's fucking stupid and stupidly designed. You can now access and explore the next area. Yeah, and how many times do you have to say the F word every time? I will say the F bomb as much as I want. I've got to start dropping some F bombs. Oh, no, you don't, mister. Hey, your daughter isn't here. I don't have to watch my language. I have no words, people. He is talking smack to his sister. Because <laughs> I'm an adult now. You may be an adult. Which alludes to the fact that she actually used to get away with this. That doesn't help your argument either. You may be an adult, but you're still younger just, just than stop, me. Stop, Andrew. Just stop. <laughs> I swear the jokes are going to write themselves. Okay, so I guess we have to use the Chaos Emeralds to yep. fix it. With our Chaos Emeralds combined. Don't you dare finish that line. I will turn off this recording if you finish that. <laughs> Good boy! Jeez, what is your... <laughs> if the what, the powers combine... Don't you... <laughs> we will not reference Ted Turner's abominations here! <laughs> really? Really. We will not reference Captain Planet! Oh, but you can finish it? <laughs> <laughs> 
because I have to finish it satirically. Oh yeah. Oh, but because but too bad. Too bad. Am's favorite line from the Avengers never made it fully. Woman, I'm not one to beat people, but I'm about to because she keeps on bringing the pain back. And she brings it back as if she loves it. She loves to bring me pain. <laughs> well, you find it, it's funny. <coughs> Avengers Assemble. I don't find it funny. I find it dumb. Just let him say the damn line. Why don't they say the line? What's up with that? What's we, up with that? Yeah, we don't know why they don't let allow him. For the lulls? Because they think it adds suspense to it, and it doesn't, people! <coughs> it is dumb! Just let him say the line, it's trademarked. I'm sure if Zack Snyder was doing a- and he is doing a Justice League movie, he'd let the Justice League assemble! Except they don't have a line like that. <coughs> I'd like to point out that the audio is long since ended. Has it? Has the recording stopped? No, 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 no. I'm saying the audio in the game. Oh, no, it's the, it's just, it's the music. But, it's nothing but who wants to be a millionaire Millionaire heartbeats. Well, Are you ready to answer the final question, Alex? Why, yes, Regis. That's another game we should play. Is who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm, I'm officially pissed off at that series. I really am. Because any time that it actually got to a point where somebody was going to win the million, it was an easy as... Question. There's no reason, unless they were paid to be an idiot, that they should have gotten those wrong. At least the ones that I saw. What what questions did you see? Like, one of them was, can you name which one isn't a lucky charm? That would not be a million dollar that question. That was a million dollar question. That would not point. be a million dollar yes, question. Yes, it was. I'd and like, they ah. asked it to the one person who, like, admitted she had no reference to pop culture or whatever. So, yeah, that was hard to her, but... I sat there and went, you... No, nope, we can't see what you're mouthing, Adam. Okay, whatever you are. If you want to avoid it's an best that way. Beat down, you better give up now. You I guess the real question is, can we actually down this? Oh, I love this one. Th this scene. Eggman. But how? He had a little help. <laughs> Dr. Robotnik. Nobody calls me that anymore. If you would be so kind as to explain, gentleman genius Dr. Eggman from the future. It will be my pleasure, most excellent and efficacious Dr. Eggman of the past. After oh, my that... most recent setback, I stumbled upon the primordial... Shh, he's monologuing, shut up! Creation, ...which I discovered had amazing abilities even I have never been able to master. It could erase time and space. I then had the brilliant idea to use my discovery to undo my previous defeats. <coughs> In order to perfect it, I needed the help of somebody as smart as I am. The only person that smart is me. Oh, you are too kind, my dear future self. And I was happy to help. I captured your friends, flinging them through time to bait my traps. But the more your monster tears through time, the more damage you do to the world. The world? I'm going to own the world when I'm finished with Sonic! <laughs> Why don't we get villains like this anymore? Wow, will I really get that crazy? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see who's crazy after I destroy both Sonics. Forever. You mean after we destroy them? Less arguing, more destroying. Destroy me? You and what mustache? I beat you all the time by myself, and now there's two of me. <coughs> then I'll have twice as much fun defeating you. And just think, this was a villain inspired by Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> well, his design was. I don't think personality was. No, no, no. His, his design. I'm, still going to stump you I'm just saying, for all the mustache jokes, 
they uh, they did design it off of a former president. So. You know. Though, if you believe the unused audio in Sonic Adventure 2, the Doctor's mustache is fake. Then why haven't we made a joke about that? I don't <laughs> know. <clears throat> Wait, robots! While I put a face, put my face on. That was just to soften you up. Now it's time to meet your doom. With the power of friendship, Sonic will be revived. Sonic, you can win, Sonic. Who are they? They are insignificant. You've got the power, Sonic. Focus your spirit. He said it, not me. Don't give in, Sonic. I know you can do this, Sonic. You can win, Sonic. You always do. We always do. Hey, look! It's the plot MacGuffin! <laughs> really? Time to scramble some Eggman, Super Sonic style! Seriously, how, 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 how is it that Hiro Toyama has never sued Sega? I guess he's flattered? He could have sued them. <laughs> he really could have. Yeah. Maybe could. that's why Sega ran out of money. He was suing them. <laughs> <clears throat> he's like, yeah, this is a blatant ripoff, people. All right, so we are going into the final battle here, people. If you take damage when you have no runes left, you lose a life. Thank you, not Laura Bailey. <clears throat> I get, you're right, I'm not Laura Bailey. You are not Laura Bailey, otherwise I'd be stalking you, according to you. <laughs> and the rest of Geek News crew. <coughs> uh, damn it. Me! To pull by these transceivers. I've heard this damn monologue too much. So now I'm gonna warn people in advance. I have a feeling this is going to take multiple attempts. <laughs> yeah. Because technically I've, this is the boss that Alex hasn't beat yet. I've never beaten it because it's impossible to get runes in this. It's impossible. The runes like come out that because but of draw. It's okay because I came prepared. I actually watched a guide on how to beat this guy, so if we actually need to do that, then I can start referencing. You might as well. I can't do this. I've never- I've been looking at- Do you want me to take over? Go ahead, take over, because I can't fucking do this. I hate this boss. It's stupidly designed and back-ass programming. Well, it pleases me you're a Sonic fan, because you are literally- I'm a Sonic- doing the job for me. Because- <laughs> Yes, I'm a Sonic fan when the games are good, like they used to be. This is not good. So what you're saying is Sega raped your childhood and here's why? No, my childhood is fine. <laughs> Sega's, Sega's just made me a very disappointed adult. How funny. Ow. I will admit that, that the design for this is just kind of broke. Like, they tried to design one on a 3D plane and one on not, and the game just encourages you to go uh, 2D plane. And nobody helps you here. You just hear the same lines over and over again. Nope. I'm trying to remember, can I actually take those as a portal? No. Not like that does anything. Yes, it does look like a homing shot. Care to tell me how to defeat this boss? Quick, tell me to go to all range mode. Should I use the boost to get through, Alex? If you, yeah, you should use the boost to get through. Oh, I just got tossed back. I thought you said you knew how to do this. <clears throat> I'm, I'm having to get used to the mechanics again. Oh, crap. Hey, can I collect rings? Yeah, you can collect- You can't see the rings in this! Yeah, you really can't! It should have just been boxes of rings. 106 has a better final boss than you fucked up! No, duh! I never would have guessed. Thanks, Tails. <laughs> 